Hi, my name is Ivan. I am head of R&D at Polymedia Company, and today I will give you a brief introduction into our uh, data visualization management software, Polywall. In plain words, Polywall is video wall management software which supports different uh, video wall hardware, including but not limited to Jupyter and Metrox hardware. It is also compatible with a variety of software and hardware sources. And its specialty is wide possibilities for integration with third-party information systems like geo-information systems, surveillance systems, uh, or business intelligence systems. Uh, so let me tell you a few words about our setup here. We have two video walls. Uh, wall to the left is powered with Jupyter controller and wall in the front is powered with Metrox controller. And we also have several additional displays, two uh, on the wall and also three displays uh, in the table. We also have a Polywall server in the rack and I will use my laptop uh, as a control interface. So let's start. Now you see the user interface of Polywall software. Uh, it's actually run in browser, as you can see, uh, so you can use it on macOS, Windows or Linux operating system. Uh, in the upper part of the user interface you can see our displays, uh, left wall, front wall, additional displays and display in the table. In the bottom side you can see uh, the library of content. Uh, we have several uh, repositories here, uh, one is with file uh, content. Here you can see images, videos, uh, PowerPoint presentations, PDF documents and some other files. We also have some hardware sources uh, like uh, life-size uh, video conferencing endpoint and Wolf Vision document camera. And we also have some connectors to geoinformational system. To start uh, displaying our sources on the screen, uh, we can use very simple drag and drop operation. For example, I can take these images and send them to our displays. If you want to uh, show more than one file or data source on the screen, then you can use the layout feature of Polywall software. You can select some predefined layout and mix different type of uh, sources on one screen. For example, I can put on the screen PDF document, video file, uh, PowerPoint presentation and also some hardware sources, video conferencing endpoint, and real document camera. After creating the layout, I can control sources. For example, I can start video playback. I can select pages in PDF document and I can control slides in PowerPoint. I can also arrange the layout online. Uh, the nice thing about Polywall software is that I can transfer data sources from one screen to another. If you don't like uh, any of predefined layouts, you can start manual mode and edit layout manually. In most cases, it is sufficient to control the display of data sources online with drag and drop feature. But sometimes, when you have very complex and sophisticated event, you may want to prepare your content before the meeting or event actually starts. To do this, you can use the scenario feature of Polywall software. Now you can see the new tab. This is the scenario tab, and you can see uh, all the scenario of your meeting here. 
you can also open the preview tab which you can use to create your layouts offline let's have an example we can create several scenes add some names to them add um, bindings so you can create an order for your scenes then you can create layouts I will use some simple layouts with images and you're good to go. You can select the start and scene and then use the show scene feature to send your layout to the screen. And pressing the show scene again button, you can go through the scenario. The unique feature of Polywall is the possibility to create multivariant uh, complex scenarios. You can start the scenario editing tab in full screen, create more scenes, and as you can see, you can create non-linear scenario. This is very useful if you have very complex and sophisticated meeting. These type of events often require to display live data streams from different types of informational systems and data sources as well. Uh, we have a good example of uh, this use case here. In uh, repository GIS, we have connectors to live geoinformational system. And we can display data from it in a very similar way we use to display images and videos. As you can see, the data from the map server is displayed in live mode. Another good example of uh, this type of integration could be uh, live data streams from video surveillance uh, systems, business intelligence and ERP systems. Another very cool feature of Polywall software is that it supports a variety of touch displays to control video wall. So you can control video wall from the smart or Wacom display or even from mobile tablet like iPad. For example, I have an iPad here and Polywall interface is launched on it. So you, I can use drag and drop to control all the visualization process. So this was a brief introduction to Polywall data visualization management software and we hope you like it as much as we do. You can contact us using our website www.polywall.net and our specialists are always pleased to answer all your questions and inquiries.